So this is the second video about the atmosphere where as I mentioned earlier that I will discuss about the atmospheric composition first. So you must know about the composition of the atmosphere properly. So you can write also. So you can see I will write over here all the important gases over here. So here I will write the name of the column gases and this side okay this side I will write the amount amount is it clear now first the important gas nitrogen okay second the important gas oxygen third carbon dioxide fourth argon fifth neon next helium next ozone next hydrogen next krypton next xenon and next one methane So this side I will write the amount. So first one amount you can mention it is in percentage. So nitrogen 78.08 percentage. Oxygen 20.94. Carbon dioxide 0.03. Argon 0.93. Next, neon 0.0018. Next, helium 0.00005. Next one, ozone 0.00006. Next one, hydrogen 0.0000. .00006. Five. Next one, Krypton 0 0.00001. Next, Xenon 0 0.00009. And last one, 0 0.00014. 0 0.00014. So total it will come. 99.98196 99.98196 okay or round of 100 percent is it clear i am showing you the full this is the upper part and this one the lower part you can check it properly this one the lower part and you have to copy the entire composition of the atmosphere in your school copy. So here you can write atmosphere within bracket composition. Composition. So here the composition almost finished. And among these all you can check for the entire earth you can check the nitrogen is there the maximum amount right with 78.08 percent and it is very crucial and important basically for the plants and crops right because in the in the agricultural land or in the soil if the nitrogen is in high quantity it is actually represents the it is actually representing the fertile land 
right or productive land right thus the nitrogen is very essential and it is maximum in quantity or in amount in the atmosphere of the earth second highest one is the oxygen which is also very important or essential and crucial also for all the humans and animals right and the amount is 20.94 almost 21 percent now the carbon dioxide it is very crucial also for the plants and indirectly for us because if the plants will not get the carbon dioxide in proper quantity that time they can't prepare their food their nutrition thus we will also not get the proper nutrition from them next argon neon helium everyone they are actually individually very important and crucial they actually they all are actually played an, an important role for the atmosphere and ozone ozone i hope i no need to explain anything because you know that ozone layer as the ozone layer is there in the atmosphere thus we all are actually well protected from the uv radiation basically the uva and uvb because those two uv radiations are very dangerous for our skin it can cause the skin skin cancer also right it can cause the case skin cancer it can causes the skin burn so these all disease can be prevented only for these layers right but since at present the layer the ozone layer or ozonosphere is in danger right is in danger the ozone hole actually developed day by day due to our own activities hence we must take care about it we must spread the awareness about it we must reduce to use the cfcs and those all gases called greenhouse gases those who can damage this ozone layer okay next one hydrogen it is also very important we are getting hydrogen from water also because water also contains two atoms of hydrogen or one molecule of hydrogen next one krypton xenon and methane those all 11 types of gases are very important for us and you can see here the amount is 99.98196 round off i took 100 percent but along with this all composition another one another one uh, gases you can tell gases so in this side you can get the another one gas and that gas name is the water vapor right because as it is the vaporization of the water it is actually found in the atmosphere in gaseous state right thus we can call them or call that water vapor as a gas so along with that 11 another one will come additionally the water vapor so the atmosphere actually contains these all 11 types of gases and the water vapor as well as the dust particles okay hope that concept is now clear for everyone now individually i will explain the importance of few important gases among them okay